Hola Guerin reporting there. Well, we can speak a little bit more about this with Dr. Hisham Helia, who is an Associate Fellow in International Security at the Royal United Services Institute. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Uh, we've been hearing about the ongoing operation in this part of the country in northern Sinai. It's been going on for many years, but in terms of today's attack, the sheer brutality is unprecedented. It is unprecedented. Um, I think this may be the, the largest single militant attack um, that's been perpetrated on Egyptian soil uh, by a non-state terrorist actor um, in modern history. 235 people, and not simply the, the numbers, but how it took place. In, uh, the period of time is actually very, very small. We're talking within the space of an hour or so. Uh, but also the fact that bombs were exploded within the mosque, then people leave fleeing uh, the violence and uh, and they're shot down, they're strafed down uh, by these terrorist actors. Um, and then even ambulances that have come in order to help, um, they also are then attacked. So it's really quite a brutal attack. A level of, of incredible coordination. We're hearing about um, some airstrikes in mm. retaliation for this. Realistically, what can President LCC do to stop these types of attacks and get control of that area? Well, uh, alas, the same thing that governments all around the world can do when it comes to tackling terrorism. Um, you can't simply attack terrorism by simply relying uh, on a security solution, even though a security solution um, has to be part and parcel of a broader sort of strategy. Um, and alas, it's actually very difficult for us outside of the Sinai to know quite what is going on. Um, it's under a state of emergency. Um, you have very few journalists and reporters within the Sinai, um, and it's a very closed sort of area for anybody to really get into and get a lot of information on. So really we're speculating about a great deal. Um, what we do know is that this insurgency has been going on for quite some time. Um, it's certainly intensified over the last few years, um, but the roots of this sort of group go back at least to 2010. Um, and the development that needs to take place in the Sinai in order to drain from the recruitment pool that these groups actually try to take people from, um, that also needs to be considered as well. But what we see at the moment in Egypt is a great focus on the security uh, solution, um, a great deal of emphasis in that regard. Um, and I'm not convinced we're going to see that change anytime soon, particularly after what happened today. And tell us a little bit about the village. What do we know about the village that was that came under this terrible attack? Uh, rather small, which makes this even more quite gruesome, right? So um, the figures that I saw were around 3,000 people, uh, which means that around 10% of the population have just died, have just been killed, um, have just been murdered in a, a pretty grotesque sort of fashion. Um, uh, some of the reports indicate um, that this village was targeted be precisely because they refused to cooperate uh, with elements linked to ISIS. Um, this may or may not be the case. And again, I have to say, we are speculating a great deal here. Um, uh, one, th one other thing that we know, at least for a fact, is that this particular mosque um, was affiliated with a Sufi order. Um, that doesn't make it some sort of Sufi minority in Egypt. There's no such thing. Um, uh, Sunni Islam is strongly and heavily influenced by Sufism, and Egyptian uh, Islam is particularly so. Um, so it's not, a, it's not a sectarian thing in that regard. But uh, radical groups like ISIS have been talking in their rhetoric about Sufis and Sufism being, uh, uh, being not only on the, on the margins, but actually being renegades from the faith, even though this is mainstream Islam in the first place. Um, so that also ties in a particular type of element from these radical groups, uh, which means that they really will target anybody. Um, it's not simply about one group here, one group there. Um, it means that everybody is a potential target, and I think that we've seen that today. Yes, indeed. Dr. Helia from Rusi, thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you. you.